Hi, morning guys. Um, Saturday, September 4th. So, we're going to uh, look at my stove. Uh, let me do a little in-depth review of this hot woods or hot tent stove. Yeah, hot tent stove. Um, it's a wood stove, wood burner. Um, I bought it specifically for this blind. Now, the Disclaimers when you buy this say it's not it's for hot tent camping only it's not to be used in garages and uh, Campers mobile homes um, Any place in garage uh, any place enclosed. I think it's a garage. Sorry any place enclosed, but this blinds got enough of a draft and I've also got a uh, carbon monoxide detector Hanging up eh, right over there right there um, where's that? Yeah, it's right over there. Uh, so I'm not really worried about it. Uh, I think the reason why I said that is because it's not the most um, sealed wood stove. Uh, it does, uh, you know, like uh, the door doesn't seal that incredibly well. Uh, so let's take a look at it. But I love it. Uh, so I'm not talking any, sh any crap about it. It's it's a great stove. I paid a hundred and sixty about dollars I think for it from uh, Sportsman's Guide is one that sells it I actually picked it up off of Amazon so that I could uh, avoid the shipping because I have Prime so uh, let's take a look at it so, alright so there it is right there uh, the box is uh, let's see so the box is, I'm trying to do this so I can uh, actually see what the hell I got going on here. Go this way with it. So the box is 18 inches long, 12 inches wide, and I think they did a, another measurement on it. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, about 16 inches tall. So the that's how big the overall dimensions are. Uh, so the interior of the firebox is 17 uh, deep and 11 inches wide. So like more like 17 and a half. Uh, it's got a good. It's all um, uh, sheet metal. Uh, I'm to guess. I'd say it's probably. I can't really go off the door, but it's probably 11 gauge, 12 gauge, something of that nature. Um, the door itself is cast iron. Um, one of the complaints that I saw, let's check out my, oh, uh, muffins are getting there. One of the biggest complaints I saw online about this stove is, um, that they couldn't get enough of a draft in it to get it to burn properly with the door closed. I've had no problems whatsoever. Now, when I bought it, it had some Teflon tape, or not Teflon, um, Kevlar, I believe, uh, tape on the inside of the door which made it very difficult to close the door because you had to really push on it push on the handle to get it to close and um, that tape came off right away uh, the first burn uh, and so I've had no problem whatsoever with draft on this I keep the door open for my first start to fire uh, get it nice and hot and then I just close the door and I've had no problems uh, the stove does come with uh, comes with five lengths of this pipe there's one of them right there and one right here comes with five lengths of them it's like uh, six and a half feet so the bottom length has the uh, has the, the damper and the top length has the spark arrestor but I'm only using the bottom one because I've got my own uh, 90 going out the, uh, the wall now, like I said, this is for hot tent camping, so it's all straight wall, and you can't even buy any 90 degree angles. It's turned out nice. Uh, can't even buy 90 degree angles for it. So, uh, and that's what I have because I don't want to cut holes in the corrugated roofing and I'll have worry about leaks and stuff. So, my last blind I had this 90, so I just reused it. Uh, I cut a steel plate for it to sit on. And then there's a worm gear clamp to keep it keep it at the right height, and so yeah, it's been a great stove. So now what I do 
And so when I'm just for regular heating, I go ahead and lay it, lay all the wood in there, and it generally it burns more towards the back half. But then when I'm cooking, I've got all these little pieces of wood here that I keep up front so that the fire is more central up here in the, in the top side, in the front side rather. Uh, looks like my water is about boiling. Oh yeah, I can hear it boiling. Oh, burn myself. Oh. Yep, water is boiling. Coffee. All right, and then uh, that water tank is uh, a winter well water tank for a, another wood stove. This sells uh, specifically for that. So I had some little legs on it. It's not quite as wide as my stove like it would be for theirs. Um, and I had to cut the legs off of it. The legs would go around the, would clamp on the outside. But it doesn't work for mine. So I just cut the legs off and it works great. Uh, you see it's boiling pretty good. I take it off and I hang it on those two hooks there and then I just use the spigot. Uh, but yep, so that's my stove. I'm gonna throw some bacon in that pan and get the other side going. Uh, here's a little tip for you for um, camp breakfast when you're camping is that I uh, let's see if I can get this in the frame here. Let's, see, let's go over here. There we go. When I'm cooking out here in the forest, I love me some bacon. What I do is I buy these packages of flip this one. I buy these packages of pre-cooked bacon. Everybody's gonna say, oh gross, pre-cooked bacon, but it's actually pretty damn good. It's fairly inexpensive. Uh, it tastes great and it's just regular bacon. Um, and I think it's like five bucks you get a package of uh, like a dozen can't think open. A dozen strips of bacon, ten strips of bacon, something like that. Can't get anything open. It's a different brand right now. Ah, I will open you. I've used my teeth, but I have dentures. There we go. Got it. Yeah, this isn't the same brand I normally buy, which is much easier to open and reseal. So I'll just throw a couple, couple, three pieces of bacon in there. Break them in half, throw them in there, and make good for a sandwich. There we go. As soon as that gets hot, it's good to go. Uh, and it doesn't give you all that bacon grease to worry about having to get rid of. Uh, some English muffins. I uh, throw the butter in the pan, and I throw the muffins on top of the butter. And then once it's uh, once the one side's good, I'll throw the bacon in there and use that bacon grease will get soaked up by the by the uh, the other side of the muffin and then once that's hot once the bacon's done I take them out throw a piece of uh, pepper jack cheese on it and a fried egg and thanks for a wonderful sandwich so all right guys that's all I got I just want to show you the stove and uh, brief little video on how to cook with it so uh, thank you right, right there I thank you and uh, fish us out. Bye.